Wait a minute. Do you have good credit or bad credit? It must be in the middle credit because you need a cosigner. So today what we're going to talk about is the pros and cons of a cosigner. So if you got about a good five or ten minutes, I want you to listen to the story that I got. And then I would like some feedback on the story. So let's get into it. Hi, and welcome back to Jojo Said What? Hey, I'm so glad that you're here today. And today I would like to talk about co-signing and co-signers. Um, I ran across a few stories and there was one in particular that I wanted to share. But first, before we get into the story, I wanted to tell you um, the pros and the cons of being a co-signer. So let's start with the pros, Okay. Pros. Is it really a pro of being a cosigner? First of all, pro cosigning is lending your credit. Okay, so someone is coming to you saying, "Hey, I need you to help me buy something because either I don't have credit um, yet, established credit, um, I have bad credit, or my credit score is just not high enough to qualify for whatever I'm trying to purchase." So they're in. You're in. They're entrusting that you will lend them your credit so that you can purchase whatever they are looking for. And um, that's the pro. But who benefits from it? Well, they do because you're lending them the credit. And you do, too, if they are paying their bills on time. So them getting established credit and building credit helps you, too, because you are affected by the way they pay their bill. Is that a pro? When you help them um, by lending your credit, you also help them with a lower interest rate and maybe lower monthly payments, which they would not have been able to get if it wasn't for you helping with the credit situation. Okay, so the cons of that is, is that it could possibly ruin your relationship. Can you imagine um, lending your credit to one of your friends, your children, your spouse, and then they're not paying their bill? Well, guess what? You're affected by that. One, it can lower your credit. Your credit can plummet. You have inquiries on your credit. If they don't pay your credit, that means if they don't pay the bill for the credit that you lend, then that means that you're legally responsible um, for paying it because co-signers are, again, lending their credit as an owner and responsibility legally for making sure that those payments are made on time. So it is a risk to um, share your credit because it's affecting you financially. Um, if they don't pay it, it'll affect you in your credit. Your credit score can drop if they don't make their payments. Um, if they default, um, on the loan, you're responsible and you can face legal issues or actions um, for lending your credit for um, a bill that you didn't acquire for yourself. And that starts my story on how a Walmart employee, I'm going to say scammed, but <laughs> a Walmart employee um got a co-signer from a, a customer from Walmart. And I, I don't know how that could happen, but can you imagine going in Walmart every day, meeting the Walmart people that work there, befriending someone, and you're just like, hey, you know, hi, how you doing? You know, everything's great. And you're like, oh yeah. And then you, you're so familiar with people to the point where you ask them for help. Now, who would ask someone for help with their credit though. Someone actually said, hey, you know, I need help. Do you mind helping me buy a car? And this person was like, oh yeah, sure, I'll help you. Which is crazy because one, the person didn't know them. They weren't friends with them. They weren't a family member. So why would you lend someone you didn't know your credit? So what happened was the car was repossessed the person didn't know who and where and what 
this where the person was, couldn't remember the person's name. Um, what happened was they got them into the dealership to help them purchase a car. They felt a certain way about the person because, again, they worked at Walmart. They seen them all the time, and they just wanted to help them. You know, young girl in her 20s, you know, having her first baby and needed transportation. And she was working, so they were trying to be helpful to her. So what happened was they got to the dealership. And that's another thing about those dealers. They got at the dealership and they were like, well, okay, if you purchase this car um, with her on it as a co-signer, then the credit rating is going to be a little, the credit, the interest rate, excuse me, is going to be a little higher and the monthly payments are going to be a little bit more. However, then on the other hand, it's like if you just did it by yourself and purchased it, you know, with your credit, the interest rate would be lower and the monthly would be lower. So really, as a co-signer or an owner, it really wouldn't make a difference because, one, you'll be responsible whether you're a co-signer or you're an owner. So what do you think he did? Of course, he bought the car, gave the young lady the car. She was making payments on it until he started getting calls. And then come to find out that this young lady hadn't been paying on her car note for a whole year. Um, when it was finally picked up, um, he didn't know where, who, and why, and where she was. And he's like, am I responsible for this? He said, I was just trying to help her out and told me the story. And I was thinking in my head, how could anyone, God bless him, but how could anyone just give their credit up so freely to someone they hardly even knew? And now he's still legally responsible for this purchase of this car, um, for all the fees. Now it's on its way to auction. And let's hope that it sells for the amount of the balance that's left. Otherwise, when it wants to come back, if, if there's a balance, he's going to owe for that. And his credit is ruined. So the moral of the story is, one, you don't really want to be a co-signer. And if you do, think about the pros and the cons of being a cosigner. Um, cosigner can definitely be helpful to someone who you trust and that is trying to establish themselves in a way um, where they just need a little bit of help. However, if they don't have any jobs or if you don't trust them and you don't know them, you should not be lending out your credit. And yeah, you just shouldn't be lending <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be lending out your credit. Again, I am guilty of doing that, but they are my children and I trust my children and I know they wouldn't put me in harm's way. But for strangers and people who don't have jobs and, and people that, you you know, don't take enough passion and, you know, control over their own credit, what makes you think they're going to have some passion and control over yours? Think about it. Tell me what you think. I think that's it for me for tonight. So comment, like, and subscribe. Please comment and let me know what you think about co-signing. Um, let me know if you've ever co-signed before. Um, let me know what the outcomes were. And share this video because I'm sure it'll help somebody out there who's even thinking about lending their credit not to do it. Because it, it can be detrimental to you financially. Um, it can hurt your credit. And it can stop your purchasing power. You won't be able to buy nothing yourself. And then who's going to co-sign for you? So it was very great talking to you this evening. If you have any questions, again, comment. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. My name is Delge. I'm out. Peace.